Lord is a very loving and soft-hearted father. That's why I don't know what will happen to him now when he hears this. But apparently, when even when I hear, uh, like, you know, Anzor said this and that, I don't believe Anzor said that. It, it, who that said is his wife. I don't believe that Anzor is even able to speak now. As much as I know my brother, he would not be able to speak over the phone hearing this news. Where is he now? He is in Mahachkala. His wife is there also. She joined him a few months ago because they were going back and forth and back. I mean, his wife was going back and forth because they wanted their daughters to stay in their marriage. As I said, two daughters both have children and with all the freedom in the States, they just, you know, um, don't want to stay with their husbands put. They want to travel. How many siblings are there? Four altogether. Four children. Two brothers, two girls. So they had two they have two sisters. Yes. Are they in Boston? They have have to be. How old are they? Younger, older? Uh, One is older than Jahar, one is younger. No, actually Jahar is the youngest. They're in between. Two Both. girls are in the middle. In the middle. You, you Two said Tom uh, a Christian girl. Uh, there are some reports that he or someone by his name posted a video on an Al-Qaeda uh, YouTube-like account. Saying what? It was just a video. It was to do with black banners. It's an end times prophecy, as I uh, This morning, when, you know, I saw that, like, it says, this might be Tamil Answer Knives Twitter site or something. And again... Being a lawyer might be. And I clicked on that, and there's this clip. And by the way, I went in there also, you know, some time ago. And I thought to myself, what an ugly voice sounds in that clip. That's, you know, even I went in there because, you know, in YouTube, there's always something pop up. You, you, you're watching something like, you know, The Secret listening to that and that there's something even unrelated will come up then it goes on and on and on and on and you just you know being uh, have not even interested just to see what what shit is that sometimes there's a lot of it and you feel like what shit is that you just click on it and I heard this this morning this morning and I thought if I was there why wouldn't just you know uh, just out of curiosity, Tamerlan wouldn't go in there also. Would you say that your nephews were devout practicing Muslims? He was not devout practicing. But just recently, maybe two years ago, he started praying five times a day, which is, I don't see anything bad in it. You know, it takes off your mind five times. You set up the time. You say gratitude words to create it. That's it. Which nephew is There is nothing said about this. Uh, I would rather him praying than he will be smoking, doing drugs, and doing some other unlawful stuff. Which nephew are you referring That's to? That's Tamerlan. I thought you said he was a devout Christian. His wife is. Well, guys, I wish you were lawyers like me, because when I listen and speak, I say only what I know. That's why she lives with my mother. And it was my sister. Uh, two brothers. Will come out. Natural. It's so natural. What is so different about it? Have what you talked to police at all, or have they? I have not talked. You, Nobody or? is contacting me. I called FBI first line. FBI line. If you have any hints, yeah. let us know. That's the number I called because, hey, knowing these two boys, knowing, believing strongly, believing they wouldn't do this, that's why I called. What did you but I them? called not right away. First reaction was anger. How could this happen? How could this do this? For what? For the sake of what? What beliefs? What prompted them to this? This reaction. But then I went through material, whatever is in there. Mm -hmm. Quickly, quickly. My first call to FBI. They could not have done this. Where are evidence? All you're showing that's just the footage. Two guys are walking, and I found it strange. Tamerlan is walking in, in the front. Uh, Jahar is in the back. Why wouldn't they come together? Just, you know, together as brothers, as I used to know them. So then are you suspicious that maybe they really did do this? No, I'm suspicious that this was staged. 
The picture was staged. By who? Whoever needs this. But why would Whoever this is your... looking for those who need to be blamed for, for, for uh, the, these attacks. So you think they're being set up by someone else, not the authorities? You think they're being set up by someone else? Who, 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 what do you mean somebody else? Well, who is, who is interested in this case? When you're blowing up people and you want to bring attention to something for some purpose, you know, you do that mass. But why don't you do that math? Why me? Police As said, I said, I'm used to being set up. Before I left uh, former Soviet Union countries, that's how I lived. Always, straight way. Best student, best worker. I'm a Chechen, I have to prove myself twice, triple times more than Kyrgyz or Kazakh who live on their own land. Police, so, I mean, say that they have, they, that they were tracking your nephews overnight and that they were following a vehicle that they were in and that they were throwing explosives Nobody out the window. Nobody said that to me. That's why I'm saying why I'm not getting contacted if they want to know my opinion. Give me evidence, then ask me. What do you think? Or have you heard those reports believe, though that that's what. And why happened? is it the question? Do you believe? If you have evidence, if FBI have evidence, why are you asking a question? Do I believe they could do this? If they have done this, I have to believe. I just would know that they have done it. What else? What can you tell us about your nephews? What kind of young men are they? Uh, I told that already. They are normal young men. Athletic. Tamerlan is two, almost two meters tall. Very athletic. Smart boy. Uh, seemingly did not find himself yet in, uh, in America because it's not easy. And my younger brother, Ruslan, he had a very high expectations of him because he knew he was smart. He knows he could use his potential. But, you know, since... And, and then when he found out that he dropped out of university, that was... Ruslan was desperate because he always demands more of his children, of his nephews, especially Tamerlani is his favorite. So, as I said, studying uh, Jahar is, you know, he's a smart guy, studying well. Can you tell us about when they came to the United States, where they had been living uh, before that? I brought them here. I was in the States uh, going through my paperwork to immigrate to Canada. When was that? That was 2001. So then, in 2002, my older brother came to the States. That's when I filed out his paperwork myself for the refugee protection claim. Your older brother. Older. You've been listening to the aunt of... Uh